Improving your advertising results within Amazon Seller Central takes a little bit of technical prowess. Today I'll be talking about how we use the bulk updater to catch some information that led to us improving conversion rate of an item in the same exact day. My name is Stephen Pope and this is the My Amazon Guy Show. So on the screen here, uh, on the right hand side, this is an example of a product that was missing its bullet points. We caught this today and there, by the way, there are many tools that you can have in place to get alerts for a detail page change. One of my favorites is called Helium 10. Um, and uh, we have you know more than 60 clients. So we're always constantly looking at thousands of catalog detail pages and, and trying to troubleshoot and improve conversion rates. So one of the things that we did was download a bulk update spreadsheet. I've blanked some of the data here. And basically it was just trying to show that we had a really low click through rate on this particular item. And we felt like the conversion rate was low and the click through rate was low, especially the conversion rate. And we felt like, man, we're wasting some ad dollars in this area. What is going on? And this item was producing previously. So we, we, every time we try and troubleshoot something, we look at the data and we click on to the, the, the live detail page just to poke around. And this is what the live detail page looked like this morning. And so we we're like, oh man, the bullet points disappeared. And it could have been for a variety of reasons. Typically Amazon just randomly deletes stuff and there's nobody at fault on the client side or on the My Amazon Guy agency side. It's just kind of the na nature of the beast right now and selling on Amazon. It's a moving target. Things are constantly being removed um, or, or delisted or problems, other sellers corrupting the data, you name it. So I do recommend you have a detail page um, checker within your your uh, your platform of tools. Well, we since optimized this. This is less than a couple hours later. We got the detail page fixed. We have the bullets in place, and we're gonna. Oh, and I guarantee by tomorrow we're gonna see two x, three x on conversion rates versus what we saw this morning. And so how we came about gathering this data is through an Amazon tool that is available to everybody for free of charge inside of. Amazon Seller Central. So to get here, put your cursor over into advertising, go to campaign manager. That brings you to the all campaign status. And I want you to click on the third tab called bulk operations. For 99 out of 100 people watching this video, this will be the first time you've ever been to this page. Do not be alarmed. It's normal. Most of the time, I like to make my changes in the manual campaigns myself. That's typically how we manage it for most of our clients. We are trying to get more sophisticated, however, here at My Amazon Guy. And so we've been delving into many other technical areas. And we've been in trying to improve ACOS and performance. And so um, this week, we especially had every member of my eight person team spend a couple hours diagnosing bulk operations data analysis. And uh, basically, you come in here and you create a spreadsheet for download. I'm going to refresh this page because I believe my download is now ready. It can take up to 15 minutes to generate. And uh, so this is for uh, this is for the ability to comb data. And I'm going to pull up the client example I had again here, where we can come in here and you can look at click through ratings and cost per click and spend and seven day total sales and cost of sale and a cost and a bunch of other data points. So. You're gonna come into that Excel sheet and start mining it for opportunities. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this spreadsheet. You can figure out what items are performing the best across the portfolio, which ones are performing the least. Why are they not performing as well is really the heart of the question. And you're gonna try and sort that data to figure out what can be improved. There's search terms that you can comb. There are uh, click-through rating issues, conversion rates, ACOS, uh, spend, all kinds of things. What if your top sellers are producing 80% of your ad spend? That would be good, by the way. Uh, but what if you switch to merchant fulfilled listings and, during COVID-19 and you forgot to put those merchant fulfilled listings into your ads because advertising is done at the SKU level, not the ASIN level? Well, this kind of data mining is a good exercise to go through. So I just encourage you to take a moment Download this bulk operation and just simply ask yourself a couple of questions. Can I uh, reduce wasteful spending and go through and look where spend is not effective? And second, can I improve spend in areas to produce additional sales and traction?
And if you look at that spreadsheet with those two questions in mind, I guarantee you, you're going to find answers to those questions. Uh, and I would recommend looking at this on a weekly or every other week basis to try and find uh, new data points because they will show up. Uh, additionally, you should be launching new campaigns and new ad groups, and so the data should fluctuate and change. Uh, finally, the last tip I'll give you is that you can take that data sheet and make changes to it and then come right back in here and upload the changes. So let's say you, you've, you've got crazy amount of campaigns on your portfolio for whatever reason. Maybe you hired an agency at one point and you turned it back over to yourself and you're like, man, what do I do? Well, bulk operations could be a benefit to you and you can come in here and make massive changes. You can make bid changes, you can make uh, budget changes, all kinds of things right here from one spreadsheet across all campaigns. So check out the bulk operations tool. It's definitely worthwhile. Come in and upload it if you want to make some changes in mass. Uh, finally, if you have an advertising question you can't find the answer to, please leave a comment on our video. We'll be happy to do a tutorial or investigate it on your behalf or give you some tips. Uh, and then if you want, hire us to run your advertising. We can come in and make sure your ACOS is improving. Every member of my team at My Amazon Guy is certified by Amazon in advertising. So we can come in and, and improve your ACOS, uh, lower your spend, improve sales, and make it so that your dollars go as far as possible so, you, so customers are seeing your products for the right price at the right time and, and, and improve your performance. So traffic generation is absolutely one of the best things you can do to increase sales on Amazon through advertising. And of course, I'm preaching to the choir. If you're watching this video, you're trying to improve your advertising, but uh, be, be sure to test new areas. There's a lot of new Amazon features as well. We've rolled those out in videos in the last couple of weeks, especially uh, new custom brand images on sponsored, pro uh, sponsored brands, new product display targeting, display targets, uh, and a bunch of other good stuff that's come out of late within Amazon's ecosystem. So be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all that news. And we appreciate you watching the My Amazon Guy Show.